But uh, this Baylor team coming up, there no, no, there is no slouch in them. Um, yep. I remember playing Baylor when I played at UAB. We went down there. We actually got a victory against them. This is right before Robert Griffin got there, and then he got there and turned things up and went right. crazy. Mm-hmm. And uh, right now they're two and one. They uh, won games that we they were supposed to win. They lost against Utah, uh, conference uh, of uh, the Big Twelve with uh, Colorado. So, um, how do you see this game playing out uh, real fast? What are your keys to victory? Should I say? Yeah, you know, first off. It, it's cliche because we say it every week, but um, I think a lot of it starts with the run game on both sides of the ball, and uh, that's what Baylor likes to do is run the ball. Uh, mm-hmm. We don't know who's going to play quarterback for them because um, you know Daquan Finn, their starter, uh, was out last week, and uh, Sawyer Robertson came in and played. Uh, so we don't know really who's going to play this week, but um, I think they're – I think it's 62% of their offensive snaps have been runs this year. And so that's what they want to do. Uh, the bus are going to have to stop the run. And uh, I yeah. like what they've done in that regard. Um, you know, we, we remember the chunk play that CSU had Travis runs the guy down for, on the 62 yarder late in the fourth quarter. Uh, great play by Travis. Uh, you know, and that was, that was just a bust, you know, it was a fourth and one supposed to be a short yardage play. And somehow he got through and just had room to run. Uh, yeah. But that, that, that was most of, I mean, outside of that, uh, CSU had 69 yards rushing, and that was a 62-yard run. So um, CU did a pretty good job the other night against the run. So I think they're going to have to stop that, and uh, they're, they're going to have to exploit uh, Baylor's uh, pass defense. Now, Baylor's pass defense, the numbers look good, but they've played Tarleton State. Right. They played Air Force, who doesn't throw the ball. Exactly. And they played Utah, who didn't have their quarterback uh, for half the game. So – they're going to see this, a hell of a quarterback this game. This, I, I don't know that Baylor's been really tested on the pass defense. So you can look at the numbers. This is this is one of those cases where you look at the numbers and say, eh, I, I don't know yet. <laughs> you yeah. know, I don't know how good that pass defense is. So, um, And frankly, I was watching uh, the, the Baylor-Utah, uh, the first part of the Baylor-Utah game in my hotel in, in Nebraska a couple weeks ago, and Utah was just killing them. You know, and then Cam Rising went out. It was twenty three nothing when Cam Rising went out, mm-hmm. and it finished up like twenty three twelve or something like that. So yeah. Utah couldn't do anything when he went out. Uh, but yeah, that was that game was just not close uh, when Rising was in there. And so um, the Buffs are going to have to really take it to him early and, and take advantage of their strengths. Well, with their quarterback situation being up in the air, um, you know, and, and Sawyer or Sawyer Robertson and Finn, uh, both of them. Not as great, of course, completion percentage as Shador Sanders. Uh, yeah. but Robertson looked the best, in my opinion. Uh, Quinn has two picks, uh, but like you said, they do like to run the ball. There are two running backs with over 30 carries, 140 yards, 4.8 yards are carry for them. Uh, so we're going to have to be stout up there and stop the run, kind of like, um, you know, every like you say, every game you're gonna have to do that, and that's mm-hmm. what you want to do. So, another test for the road warriors, the law firm, the duo, the linebackers, and those big guys up front to show what they can do. I like the multiple uh styles and formations, uh, packages of defenses that Coach Rob Livingston comes with, showing the guys at the line of scrimmage. So, with the inexperienced quarterback like Robertson and Finn, who, who can turn the ball over, I expect to see us get some sacks this mm-hmm. week and also possibly get some uh, interceptions from some balls, some errant throws, so to speak. So um, crowd should be crazy in Folsom. Uh, Real quick, let's go to the weather because I've seen mixed (laughs) (laughs) – I've seen people say it's going to rain like hell. I saw you you just posted saying it's going to be, you know, crazy weather out there. You and Adam is going to be reporting and the wind is going to be blowing. It's going to be tornado situations. How is it it looking for the weather for this game this weekend? Well, I had a tweet about the next two weeks because my my wife sent me something. She's right. uh, she's a, a wannabe meteorologist and uh, and follows. Oh, don't you know, call the, her a wannabe. No, I, she she knows that. Um, you're, gonna have, you're gonna have problems <laughs> when you get home. Man. <laughs> no, no. Uh, but she she follows like the extreme, uh, like the, the storm chaser guys, things like that. Okay, but yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the, the storm chaser uh, that she follows is projecting mm-hmm. a potential. Uh, hurricane for Florida late next week and the bus go to Orlando. So oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it could be pretty bad then. And you look at the forecast for Orlando, they're calling for a lot of rain next weekend. So that's why I was kind of joking with the next two weekends. There's a meteorologist for channel nine uh, news in Denver that, uh, you know, 
was on was on the radio yesterday in in response to Coach Prime's uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, uh, weather so. assessment, and and he said this with this forecaster uh, says that it's it could potentially be a downpour Saturday night, and that the Ooh. height of it is going to be around six seven p.m. The game starts at six p.m. So um, he's calling for a potential downpour uh, throughout the game, not just a steady rain, but you know throughout throughout the night, not just a quick storm, uh, but this could be. Um, he called it on the radio. He said it, it should be our biggest rain in six months. Damn. Well, I'll say this <laughs> uh, off the top. Honestly, hearing that, uh, if I'm Baylor, I'm loving it because that's our style. We got a ground and pound style. We got yeah. you know two backs with over thirty carries. If I'm Colorado, I'm like, okay, here's our chance to be a ground and pound team and to run the football and to prepare for this. Um, but if we do have to throw the ball, we have the quarterback to do it. Mm -hmm. And if they have to throw the ball, they might be in trouble. So defense, let's make sure we stop this run in this sloppy football game. This is going to coach prime said that, uh, Levante Benny is football, right? Well, this is going to be a, 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 a old school Mike Singletary type, you know, football. I like this type right. of party type yeah. game right here going down and he's gonna have to lead that way along with his tag team partner kai hill green well i'll say this too the, the spring game uh was a rainy game uh, for yeah. the buffs and i know it's a spring game but i don't remember shadur having ball security or throwing issues uh during uh, the spring game i don't think so and that's the thing so, it, it, in these wet weather games your quarterback and your center exchange is vital but also your quarterback being comfortable with mm -hmm. the wet football and throwing it to receivers, you know, who has the better receiver core. You know, I would think that we have one of the best in yeah. the country. So if we're throwing the ball in the rain and we have to catch. Um, I, I like our chances on that. We just have to make sure we stop the run also. So um, predictions on the game real quick. I guess we give our predictions before we get up out of here. We appreciate everybody joining in. Uh, make sure you follow Brian on his YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as he give you guys some updates on the Colorado Buffs each and every day. You know, y'all can stay updated with things. And uh, also, you can follow me on social media, Big Dog Chico, B-I-G-G-D-O-G-G. -G -G. Type that in everywhere you go. Um, here's the predictions. Uh, give, me, give me your predictions, Brian, your score predictions. Yeah, you know, I, I think this is not only – I think this is an important game for the Buffs. You know, I said it last week. I think the next two, meaning CSU and Baylor, were going to be pivotal for their season. They played yes. really well last week. They, they need to get off to a good start in conference play, and uh, and I think they will. I think that they're just a better. I think they're a better team than Baylor, and I think that having this game at home, they've got to take advantage of that. I don't care if it rains or not. You got to take advantage of being at home, and uh, yeah. I think they got the better athletes. And uh, I'm going with the Buffs, 34. Baylor 24. Mm, 34 24 in the rain. Um, uh, as your weatherman predicted, we'll see how good he is. You right. know, I, I'm from Alabama where they'll tell you, hey, tornado warning, you're out of school, go home, hide, get out of the bed, and then nothing happens. Right. You know well, hey, that it's happens here too. Maybe going can't, outside. I can't tell you how many days that they've, <laughs> that our kids have had school canceled. Because yeah. they're projecting a massive snowstorm, and then throughout they sit at home throughout the day, and there's like a dusting. Like, right. oh, come on, man! Like, man, <laughs> I didn't took off of work, you know, or I didn't miss school. I'm going outside to play. So he he, he might be right, but until I see it, you know, I, we're about to give a, a, we're about to get a name on him, so we can, right. hey, we're gonna hold him to it, <laughs> right? Yeah. So right. until I see it, you know, I, I'll say that there's still. I'll go with Coach Prime and say, hey, that means there's 50% chance it won't rain, right? <laughs> <laughs> you got to think positive, dog. I don't, right. I, I don't think negative, dog. Right. I think positive. <laughs> I like that about Coach, man. Shout out to Coach Prime once again. Um, all this, I think, is possible because of Coach Prime. We sit here talking yeah. about Colorado Buff football in the way that we are. Uh, so uh, with that, my prediction, I re haven't really given a lot of thought to. I just know that we want to win. Uh, <laughs> but right now, I'll say, you know, with the rain factor, if it does rain, um, I think we can still pull this game out uh, in a way of about a 28 to a 14 victory. I think we can hold them to 14, and uh, we can get some turnovers, and that's what it's going to be. 28-14, Colorado Buffs win, and uh, it might be more if Coach Prime 
don't take his foot off the gas. <laughs> <laughs> and he just keep <laughs> trying to throw that thing and put points on the board. As long as the clock hey. is going, I'm trying to score though. Yeah. I don't know what y'all try to do. <laughs> yeah, and I'll say this too though. If it's look, Colorado's gonna have a lot of close games. I think that's the makeup of this team, is that you know, I don't care how it looks. I think I think they're favored by two. If they win by two, win by one, win by 14, whatever, take it and just say, great, you're three and one. Favorite, one favorite and about two conference. points or two scores? Two points. Oh, two points. Damn. Yeah. Okay. okay. Which is almost a push because you get three for being at home. Uh-huh. So oh, they wow. almost favor in Baylor, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. But uh, I don't, they just need to get a win. It doesn't matter how it comes. Well, they're going to be in for another rude awakening, brother, <laughs> coming this Saturday. All right. By the so, way, the, um, the, the last time Baylor was in Boulder, mm. RG3 led the Bears to a victory over the buffs. So, see, yeah, it's been well, a while. And I don't think they're going to have a one glove wearing, braids <laughs> out the helmet, <laughs> necklace wearing, number 10 with the back flap showing, running through the field like a track star. I don't think they have that unicorn back there. And don't forget to add. Outside. En route to the Heisman Trophy. They don't en have route that. to the Heisman Trophy. Shouts yeah. out to RG3, man, doing his thing. Uh, and and he has an interview with Coach Prime and this, uh, Shiloh Sanders uh, and Shadur Sanders on his page. I think it's called Out of the Pocket Podcast. Shout out to him. You yeah. know, maybe we could have him on the show one day. Shout out to RG3. <laughs> Holler at us. All right. <laughs> Bleacher Report for the Bleacher Report for the Bleacher Report um, creators. Colorado Buffaloes midweek live with Big Dog and Brian. We're going to sign out. We appreciate you guys joining in. Hit us uh, on all social media. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and all the other good stuff. Until then, we're going to be up and about this thing. Peace in the Middle East. Yeah.